In the heart of the Democratic Republic of the Congo lies a profound archaeological enigma that continues to captivate historians, mathematicians, and anthropologists alike. The Ishango Bone Unearthed amidst the ancient relics of Ishango's fishermen's settlement, this remarkable artifact stands as a testament to the ingenuity of early human civilizations. Discovered in 1950 by the intrepid Belgian explorer Jean de Heinzelin de Bracourt during his Congo expeditions, the bone emerged from a landscape adorned with human remains and rudimentary stone tools, offering glimpses into the lifestyle of a primitive society reliant on fishing and gathering for sustenance. Crafted from a dark brown, elegantly curved bone measuring approximately 10 centimeters in length, the Ishango bone bears witness to a bygone era steeped in mystery. Affixed to one end is a sharp piece of quartz, suggesting its potential utility for recording and marking. However, it is the intricate series of markings adorning three distinct columns that has sparked intense scholarly debate and speculation. The age of the Ishango bone remains a subject of contention among archaeologists. Initially estimated to date back between 9,000 and 6,000, 500 years before Christ, but now believed to potentially exceed 20,000 years in antiquity. Within its weathered surface lie what some interpret as counting marks, while others discern patterns suggestive of an understanding of decimals or prime numbers. Notably, the left column conspicuously features the prime numbers 1113, 17, and 19, all nestled within a sum equating to 60, perhaps hinting at a partitioning of numerical space. Diverse interpretations abound, with some positing the bone's function as a rudimentary counting tool employing a base 12 number system. Anthropologist Caleb Everett proposes a multifaceted role, suggesting its potential use for counting, multiplication, and as a numerical reference guide. Conversely, archaeologist Alexander Marshak theorizes a connection to lunar cycles, proposing that the engravings serve as a six-month lunar calendar, attesting to the deep-seated astronomical observations of early societies. Yet, amidst the plethora of conjectures, the true purpose and significance of the Ishango bone remain elusive, shrouded in the mists of time. Some caution against the imposition of modern mathematical paradigms onto ancient artifacts, urging a nuanced approach rooted in comprehensive analysis of contemporaneous symbolic materials. The perplexing question persists. How did a purportedly primitive civilization attain such remarkable mathematical insight, and what cultural forces shaped their acquisition of knowledge? As scholars continue to unravel the mysteries enshrined within the Ishango bone, its enduring legacy serves as a poignant reminder of humanity's inexorable quest for understanding, bridging the vast expanse between antiquity and the present, inviting contemplation of the boundless depths of human ingenuity and curiosity.